Okay, we'll call the Forceful Town Board monthly meeting to order on Tuesday, January 17th at 6 31. Uh, roll call, please. Roy Engelberg. Here. Larry Huber. Here. Jason Plahatch. Here. I'm Ruth Kircher. Dina Schmidt. Here. And we have Chuck Schley and Kevin Gillett present. Thank you. Has the agenda been public notice? Yes, it has. Okay. And uh, we have the agenda in front of you. I don't think we have to move anything that I know of. I have to approve the agenda. I make a motion for the agenda. I'll second that. Motion made to approve the agenda. All those in favor, please signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. You have the minutes, seeing the minutes of December 19th and also the special broadband meeting on January 6th. I noticed a, an extra word in the broadband meeting. Yes, and I did. Oh, okay. I must have typed up the wrong one. Okay. That yeah. word is. I took it strange. off on the. I did take it off and I printed it, I'm sure. Oh, well, I don't have a copy of that. Okay. Corrected. Yeah, I. Oh, okay. I'll send that to you because then you can post it. So, them. what was the correction? The correction was to remove this word. Oh, uh, join with, the with instead yeah. of join the brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, collaborative group. Okay. okay. Other than that, uh, the units were as we met. That's good. I have made a motion we accept the corrected minutes for the broadband meeting as well as last month. I second that. Well, you made a second. Any other further corrections or additions? I'm aware of. Hearing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Treasury report. Hey. In the cemetery checking, we have $86.58. The cemetery perpetual care, we have $11,334.37. The cemetery savings, we have $3,996.68. The town checking, we have $1,182.33. The money market, we have $327,065.46. In the LGIP general, we have $42,067.01. And the AR and the ARPA and the ARPA is $111,823.14. A lot of this is tax correction too, though. Yeah. Money yes. Yeah. Yep. You have an outstanding invoice from last month. We have one. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not due yet. It's not yeah. due till 25th. So, oh, all right. and he did call me because he asked me, he says, did this go on my taxes? And I said, no. <laughs> He's okay. I'll send you a check. I also see you have $10 uh, from your fraud license. Thing. Yep. Is, there's two of them there. The only one is. Well, there's ten dollars, but then that sixty-one cents I put in as yeah. interest or whatever, just so it doesn't screw up my dog license. Right, but there's another second ten dollars. It's another dog license. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, all right, that's in there. That's in there. It's in there. Yep. That's good. It's working. Oh, yeah. We'll talk more about it. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to accept the third year's report. These are all seven. Yeah. I second that. I made to accept the treasurer report. All those in favor, please take the by and say aye. Aye. Opposed? Yeah. Motion is carried. Public comment and correspondence. Ruth, do you have any comments? Yes, I do. Um, I talked to Philip Burnt. And this is, I was on a Zoom program the other day, and they want to meet with the town board. Uh, he wanted February, but then uh, I, they couldn't get here till about 8, 15, 8, 30. So I said, how about March? They would like to come about 6, 30 for our March meeting. Um, this is where they have the, the funds for towns to apply for grants for improvement, but it has to um, be for tourists. It has to some improvement for tourists. Tourists? Okay. Tourists. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that would be, you know, anything we do here, like uh, electric charging station would be one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, bathrooms by the fall bar or outdoor bathrooms. Yeah. That would be a big, yeah. uh, something like that. Those are mm -hmm. like, yeah. And they were just trying to give different uh, scenarios and, and uh, they, they would just like to come and talk to the board. And this would be for March? Yes, if that'd be okay. Yeah. Um, I said we start at 630 and I said first we have the, you know, our agenda presentation and, and minutes and everything. And he says, how about 640? Can we be on the agenda? And I said, I'll find out and okay. I'll let him know. Okay. And he also said we could do it through Zoom if if we want. It could go on Zoom. They would be on. They would have a Zoom meeting with us. Yes, yeah, here, yeah. yeah. They could get on our. They could Zoom. get on our. Yeah. Get on our yeah. 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 Either that or come. If it'd be better if they'd come. Okay. Yeah, it'd okay. be better if they come. Then you can ask questions yeah, or yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I okay. Have I have a question. Um, I keep getting this email to renew our SAMs. Yeah. Do we have to renew that? That's a spam. It's no. A, no. It's, we don't have to renew it. Well, that's for our. Uh, it's for grants. Yes, it's for it's the federal. Thing. Yeah, the federal. We registered for Sam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but every year you have to renew it. Oh, I didn't get anything like that. No, I get it keeps too. coming to me. Oh, but that's from uh, uh, that is from Sam Support Center dot com. Oh, so that's spam. It's not a government. It's not a government thing. Yeah, it's spam. Okay. Sam and spam in that case. In, All right. Yes, that's very similar <laughs> to your uh, email account yeah. is expired. Okay. All right. Then I can just keep getting rid of that. Yeah, I'll you okay. that. Yeah. I just know that we applied for it, so I didn't know we needed to reapply. No. Okay. You want to keep in contact with uh, Brett then? Ooh. Yes. With, uh, burnt it is. Burnt. Bill Burnt. <laughs> He says just like right. burnt toast, B E R N D T. I call him. Hmm. I'm calling him Brett all the time. Oh, what's the people? Isn't he? He's the head of the yeah, yeah, thing, uh -huh. the but yeah. that isn't who's coming. Brent is that Phil, Phil Burnt. Phil Burnt, yes, uh -huh. See, but there's yeah. there's some others, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, they he was on. And and uh, there's another gal that wasn't sure doesn't have her name on here. Right. So that's cool. I was on the January virtual one. On the R E N D T. Yes. Okay. Anything else, Ruth? Mm -hmm. I think that's it for me. Here I got. I just got in the mail today. The new uh, intake, criminal intake, yeah. for our uh, for your citations and your rate citations. The only thing difference is that August seventh uh, is not they're on vacation, so they're not going to take anybody in on August. So yeah. you will know, have to go work around that. So this one, the fourteenth one, fifteenth one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You back across them all in your time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, oh, I see they're both there. We get two criminals. Oh, criminal of June. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, so that's where you're putting your citation file. Uh, the other thing I have is our uh, garbage pickup. The fuel surcharge went down this month. Mm -hmm. or this is for the month of December. And uh, so it went down. So our uh, it was down down to eighty three dollars and nineteen cents, so that was a good thing. So that the other thing we have, we have a new customer in town of Portsville by the name of Derek Shaw. You know Derek Adams, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> good thought, I guess. Yep, he, he, so he's living there. And good thing I I copied the address from his from the. Uh, from the uh, fire number? from from here, oh, and that's the whole address. So I got the right fire number. And he caught it, so he did a good, good job. Oh, bro, I have a question. The garbage surcharge was that for January or December? That's for December. December. Okay, that that's what I thought. Okay. Well, 
I got another something about garbage and we take it next month then. Uh, we also have a census bureau. Ruth, did you get you got that email also? Uh, 2023 boundary and annexation survey from the CBAS. Did you do anything with that? All we have to, all I have to do is send it back and verify our boundaries are correct. Like this. That's all I have to do. But, oh, I looked at it. Yeah. You don't have to. I don't think it's optional. Even, to yes. Uh -huh. it, it's optional. Yeah. Is that because they carved out a piece of the property mm -hmm. at the southern part of our town? No, they didn't. Uh, they didn't uh, do what it's just. We just have to. Our, we're talking about our, our boundaries, our rectangle, our square. Township. Oh, the township boundary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, all they're, that's all okay. they're, that's all they're worried about. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, okay, that's all I have for correspondence. Um, that'll be it on that. Kevin, do you have anything? No, okay. No, I don't got anything. Okay. Uh, Chuck, we are going to the Southern Door Fire Department. Got a lot on there. What's happening? It's quiet, which is very good. Um, from December 14th to January 11th, we had three calls. Yeah, three. <laughs> One with the Knights Rescue. Earlier, the Knights Rescue, uh, I think the apartment's been an apartment. People are nuts. Um, December 17th, there was a structure fire in Algoma, which was a Mavis call. And they were canceled when they got there. The other one was January 7th. Uh, another Mavis called Algoma. And uh, they were released shortly after they got there. But, you know, you never know, especially in the city, how uh, severe the fire is going to be. Um, we hired two new EMI. I don't know if you say hired. We welcomed, that's better. We welcomed two EMRs to uh, the department, um, Anna Olson and Claire Olson. Now, the unique thing about Anna is she wants to be a flight nurse, mm -hmm. which is a big deal, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need them. We need, mm -hmm. we need EMR, we need firemen, period, you know. Um, they, Russell's have been doing very well with the, the high school program that they have, getting one or two a year, but they stick around. So it's something that the department will be working on. Rich, Rich Olson, Chief, Chief Olson's high on that particular thing on getting younger. Firefighting is a young man's game. Yeah. It's not a game, but I mean, Jobs. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's yeah, a young man. No. Well, other than that, that's about it. Uh, nothing new with a NASA Um Right now, I think the ball is in their court. Let them uh, come to us instead of us running to them. By us, I mean the other three municipalities. Yeah, I'll give you a little update on. Um, our fire department uh, okay on the 6th of january a uh, friday the 6th uh mike and terry and myself got together uh just convinced of it to see what we could do to help nasa Wapi or do something for nasa Wapi. and we kicked around some ideas and that nothing was decided but we did decide and we contact i contacted randy nesbitt so Randy Nesbitt will be, if we have to hire your attorney, which I believe will be done, will be Randy Nesbitt. He's uh, contacted him, and he has not been contacted by an Asawapi, uh, Tyler Puff from Wicket, is their attorney. And there's a lot of questions we have. And uh, the idea is, is that uh, three municipalities will hire the attorney, but then the fire department will pay for that service for the attorney's fee on that how much it is we have no idea and the, and the other conclusion we did was like to visit with the chair of nasa steve sullivan and i got emailed to see sullivan again last friday on the 13th the four of us got together and uh i didn't know that there was a lease on the fire station 
at Nassawapi. Apparently, did they build a, their a town hall in 2006? Apparently, when the fire department was formed, built a fire station in Forestville and one in Nassawapi. And then in 2006, is that when uh, Nassawapi built their town hall? I'm not aware of that. Because that's when I, they came up with a lease, no payment, but it was the fire department's responsibility to take care of the, the building and drill a well and set yada, yada, yada on, on that. For so, the, the fire house itself, yes, not for the town hall. Not for a town hall. And so there was a, a that was done in 2006. And so we were discussing about that. And now I believe as of Wednesday, there is a firm list of all the equipment at Nassawapi and that list is now going to be sent to somebody. I didn't catch the name of that. Terry said that it's going to be sent to their representative to figure out uh, what the final equipment valuation is. And then the next thing we have to do is that, uh, is that correct or? That is not correct. That is not correct? That is not correct. They have, uh, they got McMahon and Associates out of Green Bay to do their uh, fair market value, uh -huh. okay? And we got, that was for the buildings, the building and the trucks. We got uh, Bordellini out of Kiwani to give us a fair market value on the building. Um, blacktop that we just mm -hmm. put in and the concrete, which we put in last year. And that's all. What about all the apparatus? Uh, everything else that they- They, they uh, McMahon and Associates did their apparatus for, for Nassawapi. We're in a process of finding some, you can't just, you, you can't just find somebody to do it. Nobody wants to do it. We even, we talked with Marion, to let them give us a, they wouldn't do it. They don't do it. We talked to Pierce. Okay. From what we understand, Pierce and Marion both gave fair market value to McMahon and Associates for the equipment that's up there, but they won't do it for us. I'm talking about the other materials that turn out here, the air packs, the hoses, the, all the other stuff that goes on the equipment. Right, right, right. Yeah. Not that I know of, just the vehicles. Just vehicles. Just vehicles. And we haven't done that yet. We haven't gotten our, our guy together. We're working on it, though. I talked to Terry last, uh, last Friday. They had a person down, from down south. I don't know. Her. That's not official. Oh, that's not official? That's not, okay. We have McKinley something. That seems. Gridley. Yeah. I, no, that's not official. Okay. we got to work on that. We're just going to. And then the second, the second subject is what's going to be the final payout of Nassawapi for, and over the years from 1980, that figures changed every year. In fact, in, in 2017, they were only paying about a little, but like over 60 percent. Now they're paying over 70 percent of it. Yeah. So the 70 percent is not a correct figure. It would be less. It would be they were you know somewhere between 50 and 70 is where. They're finally going to have to. Who's going to set that? I mean, who's going to? That way, our lawyers. Oh, that, that's well. We, first of all, we I have. Can't, I'm sorry. We can't get a word out of those guys over there, especially uh, Sullivan. Okay, well, I'll he will. That. He just doesn't want to talk to anybody. No, you won't talk. To you. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that. But so some somewhere is we're going to have to come up with what the figure was from 1980 to 2023 20, as far as what that percentage that they should be paying, whether it's going to be 30, 35, 40, or whatever it is. That, oh. that they have to come up with. Oh. Okay, so you got, we, you got an idea? Because we don't. Yeah, yeah. I talked to our treasurer this morning and see if he can come up with our what we pays, what our assessed valuation for 1980 for each municipality. Okay. Equalized. 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 Yeah. Equalized. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing, so then uh so we had a good conversation, but uh the uh Mike asked Steve, and then, well, Steve, is there anything we can do or can do to talk this out or do this? Well, uh, Steve said, it's no, I want to separate. It's my decision. 
I want to separate. And besides, uh, uh, all the firemen up in Nassauapi would quit. Well, there's one fireman at least that said, I want to belong to both firemen, both departments. So we did not, so we dropped the conversation right there as far as what could the other three municipalities do for Nassauapi. And so, so that's where we are right now. We, we, we got together twice now, there's three of us and then all four of us. And uh, as of right now, um, we're going to have to proceed with the deal to go to keep on going with the separation. There will be a lot of decisions to be made um, before September as far as what the final deal. And that's where you'll have to have attorneys in, involved in that, Chuck. So unfortunately, yes. Yeah. So that's where we are. Uh, yeah. I, I, get a, I got a surprise that now the firemen in both departments, they seem to want to go their separate ways right now. Yeah, I guess it it changes. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't have a chance to call. I didn't want to call the, our chief to see that what he said was correct because yeah, yeah. You know, so, but uh, but this is uh, what it is. So so uh, you can pass it on. Uh, Terry was there with us, so he'll you he know. Yeah, we'll hear from him. Yeah, yeah. So so that's what we did. That's our fire department right now. Yeah. Again, we're no we're no further along than we were last last September. As, you know, as far as nailing prices down, yeah. equipment, we don't even know what equipment they want. They've never actually given us anything in writing that we want this truck, that truck, that truck. We want this equipment. We don't want that equipment. We're wondering if they should have to pay, help pay for that brand new truck we ordered. Because if we didn't notice they were pulling out, that truck probably would not have been ordered. I asked that question of Terry. Uh, why can't? Why don't you back out of that? Oh, well, he said we've been we paid in one hundred and fifty thousand so far. Oh God, for sure. Yeah, ninety six hundred a month since April. April, yeah, okay. Whatever that comes out to. Yeah. So and uh, so you were going to have to, and uh, he agrees. I didn't suggest that he did. That you'll have to use your savings towards that truck because you. So we planned on that. Yeah. Okay. We planned on doing that. We're not getting. We're not getting much as far as interest goes. No. 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 So to to keep that that money there, you know, is foolish. Yeah. But that's still only one hundred fifty thousand mm -hmm. on a six hundred eighty thousand dollar truck. Well, you got three something in there in your savings. Or, yeah, huh? You got three, three hundred some odd thousand in your savings. Who told you that one? Yeah, you have. That was your report back in. I don't have it in front of me, but the two. Okay, the um. What's the? We got fifty thousand with uh, credit union. What's the name of the credit union, Sturgeon Bay? Capital. Capital. Huh? Capital. Capital. We have 50 with them or 100 with them. And then 50 with uh, uh, some other some other one. We only got 150000 in the savings for that. It, for that, but you have other monies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm okay. referring. Okay. Okay. Strictly. No, no. You're yeah, we have about we have about three hundred thousand. Yeah, so you have. Yeah, you and have. plus what we're going to be getting. Uh, you know, for for twenty three. Yes. Yeah. So you so you gonna have to use that money. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, we we understand that. You can't you can't pay it for that truck, but you're on a, you won't have that money that much money to pay for it. No, yeah. but. We're hoping to use some of the money that uh, Nassauapi is going to cough up when they buy the vehicles. Uh, now, that's another good say. How, how the, the documents read right now is that money that they pay goes back to the three municipalities, not and to the fire department. Why is that? That's how the documents are funded. That's how well, I, I, I know it's a, something about yeah. going back to the municipality. Yeah. Yeah, so well, you guys got to turn it over to us. <laughs> well, that's that's the don't change your damn head. Just, just telling, just well, telling that's got to be part of that's why lawyers need to be involved yeah. in the reformation of a new department. If, yeah. if that's separation, there's going to have to be cash settlements, there's going to have to be municipality then come together. The new fire department is but it would, Larry, it would be nice to get to try and get together so we can do that, you know. 
I can make a suggestion here. Go ahead, Kevin. I'm going to tell you right now that as this proceeds and you guys continue to move forward with that old deal, the second those attorneys are involved, whatever you did is basically useless. Oh, yeah. They're going to both do their own thing yeah. and they're going to run through that divorce and it is going to be what it's going to be. Yeah, that's right. They're going to negotiate it back and that's forth. Correct. So the whole point of let's keep banging our heads, you're better off just to get a hold of Randy and say, we're hiring you. We need to move forward. Yeah, yeah. And that's automatically going to trigger them to force them to get an attorney and you're going to spend well, yeah, $60,000 on this deal. Yeah, we, we figure that. Yeah, they have their attorney ready. Kind of and, use. and it'll be just like a divorce. Yeah, That's yeah. exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. Price it down. Well, you just had your meeting on us what, a week ago? No, last Friday. So uh, that, uh, we were trying to, we were trying to, now he's quick. Okay, what we did say, well, one of the contentions was they'd like to have, because they have 70%, participation they'd like to have more members on the board and so yes we agree that they should have three and i would give a but nine. they didn't go they didn't go for that today well he's going to bring it back and talk about about that so okay well, i guess we'll wait and see on that one well yeah i don't like that because this was this was right after their monthly meeting they meet on a thursday second thursday so we'll we'll keep it we'll keep talking but that's I just want to bring you up to date what uh we we transpired at this point, you probably want the heads to be doing the talking and not the bodies doing the talking. Oh yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, 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 yeah. We just want, yeah, because this is a yeah. these are informal meetings. Mm -hmm. and we have to have posted just trying to figure out something. Okay, moving on. And from the fire department, we talked to the sanitary district. And Chris is not here. Cemetery report. Larry, did we? Did we we sold for uh, that was last Larry week. Thanks. Yeah. Well, yeah. finalized it this month. Mm -hmm. I'm fire board day. So, uh, four, and I think I got a great marker put in. Oh, he's, uh, uh, I so at this point, that's the only thing I have. Okay. Very good. Okay. Broadband update. <clears throat> we had our meeting on the 9th, no, 9th, 10th, 11th. Yeah, 9th. 9th of uh, January with the Brussels and Brussels, Gardner, and Union did accept us in their, their group. Yeah. And, uh, we have since that time we have another uh, report request for information from Bug Tussle. He came through, so we I think we have six requests from vendors that uh, gave us information. So now our next step is to review those requests for information and make decisions. And we're going to be meeting on the thirtieth of January. Uh, the uh, person in charge of the of our group was uh, John Cook. Uh, he was a former chair for the town of Gardner, and he's rep. He's in that very doing a great job. Uh, we we have a good team right now. In fact, uh, in our survey, and we last on the tenth of January, we mailed out a mailer to four hundred what forty eight four hundred forty eight citizens whether we should continue with broadband. So on Sunday, we stuffed the envelope, we uh, labeled the envelopes, and on Monday, we stuffed the envelopes, and on Tuesday, they were mailed. And that, that happened. So that was that was a item that we had to do. We had to get a survey out. I got a couple of people that asked me what the price was gonna be. We don't know. I said, it's really in the early stages. Yeah, right now, all we're worried about now is if people are really interested in it or not interested in it. Because if there's not enough interest, I said we'll just drop it. Now, if you if you uh, if you want a little bit more things information on, it, Sevastopol has sent out a request for information, and now they have sent out requests for performance, and now they're going to have an informational meeting on Monday the 23rd at the Sebastopol Town Hall at six o'clock. If you'd care to go there, that'd be great, the 23rd of, uh, of January. And it's a for the public, informational meeting for the public about broadband. But that would be for the town of uh, Sebastopol. That's, that's the town of Sebastopol. On the, uh, on the 23rd, of Thursday, the 23rd of February, we're having a town unit meeting for Door County. 
Town Association. Town Association meeting at Claybanks. And Claybanks is going to put the presentation on of what they did, how many grants that they requested. I think they would so far requested three grants. And Bertrand is going to be there to talk about what they can help or how they help the town achieve this. We heard a little bit about this over in Bailey's Harbor. Bailey's Harbor was, you know, way uh, beyond, uh, they already had complete everything that, that we, they didn't give us too much information. So we should have a real good meeting on the 23rd of February. And then also hear about what Sevastopol is doing on the 23rd of January. Those are two things that we've got going on right now. And again, like we'll be meeting, our group will be meeting on the 30th of January at the fire station in Brussels. And Ruth, you've been getting the re returns on those questionnaires? Yes, I got about 32 today. Great, great. Okay. Yeah, we'll now that we've got look at them and we we'll get a recap by the 30th. I'll mm -hmm. pick them up and you very good. Any other questions on broadband? But that's what's happening. Oh, Ruth, on broadband, uh, all our expenses for broadband should go in a special column against the, the opera fund. Our opera fund. Yeah. yeah, I want to talk a little bit about that too after a while when we get there. Okay. Well, let's talk about it right now. We'll just skip, we'll skip to American Rescue Plan. Oh, oh, uh, that's what, it, yeah, American Rescue Plan. Um, I was doing the annual report and I want to know where Dina put that nickel because I'm off a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it's probably, I'm sure it's some Medicare because that kind of, um, I, I got the, the accounts to come out and on ARPA, we can take uh, some for uh, the roads. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that work when you do the roads? You have to spend one and a quarter percent you more. To, you have to spend fifteen percent more than what you get for the roads. Only fifteen percent. Fifteen percent more. more. Okay. Right. Um, because I was we'll figuring. Stay road stay road. Road. We'll keep up with our road yeah. Yes. So if it's one hundred and twenty-two thousand that you get, and it's like say one hundred and fifty, sixty, whatever. One hundred and forty-seven. Like, okay. That All right. That's what I was kind of wondering. I didn't know if it was uh, one and you know, like one and a quarter or a percent no. more. Or okay. Um, because I have broad. I was going through this, and for broadband. Our expenses were five hundred and forty-nine dollars with our meetings, and then with all the mailers and mm -hmm. the post station and everything. Um, now, QuickBooks Online, we put that online. Can we take that off? That was four hundred and thirty. From we went from dot com to wi dot gov. Only the only those things that were associated with the digital services and the website. Okay, with the website design, uh, design that was seven ninety nine. So That's that, part could, of it. but not the QuickBooks then. QuickBooks we so, had beforehand. This okay. is just another way of doing it. Okay, and I don't think that that would qualify, but for the American Rescue Plan monies, right? However, uh, what was the second one that we got? Well, that here we took change the, from WI dot loss to go. Oh, that one, you mean what you got, the, the subgrant? No, not no. the subgrant. I'm talking about the second uh, batch of money we got. Mm -hmm. but, That's all part of the American Rescue Plan. Yes, yes. We got, we got, we got it qualified because we lost revenue. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right. We got to do payments. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, payments. okay. But then from changing the dot com to wi.gov for 269 that that's was the only cost that was, that was associated with the okay uh, that's what i want to make sure and then we have the siding for the town hall the down payment that we right. put down and then seal coating the parking lot could we take that too we could but okay i was I, going through that I, and I, I didn't I, know. I, well, that's just me okay I all right okay. Done I, in any case. Yeah, yeah i was just going through every item that i could try mm -hmm. and find mm -hmm. So um, now for the roads last year, we have um, a total of 340, well, not quite 300, but 341,000 is what we spent, but we had $18,000 TRID aid 
that we received this year. And then the prior year, we had some of the extra grant money too mm -hmm. that we used. So how much of that do you want me to take for when I do my report in April? You should take, I would say at least 50,000. Okay, I, my figure is 47,900. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, <laughs> just, oh. Pretty close. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I was just kind of wondering yeah, how much it takes. That would be great. Mm -hmm. And put that on the title fund, yeah. Okay. That, that, that would be lost for a minute. Right. And because um, the report is due the end of April. End of April. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So I could do that anytime now, mm -hmm. too, I think, because yeah. it's all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because the society won't come until March. Really? Maybe. No. Okay. Yeah. Almost a year that we ordered it. <laughs> It'd be a year in May. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Really, yeah. It's a good thing somebody's yeah, house yeah. wasn't being built. And everything came out. I took the <laughs> I took the culverts out of there too, culverts, and then the trid aid was eighteen thousand. So okay. If so we have plenty of road expense on there. Right. But if we're going to get any additional computer uh oh yeah, tools, we could, yeah, that could go on for for the next year. report, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this is as of when? Uh, money's as of? From April through April. From April, April 20. March. April, yeah. March. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, okay. well yeah. April, the end of April is when the report is. is yeah. Well, right. Yeah. No, that's, I understand. Mm -hmm. But the money yeah, is so still right. until 24. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's not the easiest report either to get no, there. Okay. Uh, nothing, I don't have anything on planning and zoning. Is, uh, you're, we're going to have a meeting on January 30th. Uh, I'm for, planning to attend that one because they're going to go over their digital yes. uh, pay program from, the, from the, the county. Right, right. So if you take that in, that'd be I, great. I am taking that one. I heard, I heard the presentation a couple of times. Still don't understand it, but that's another story. <laughs> okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, so uh, you're taking that one in. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, update on the cabinet for the voting machine. You notice the voting machine is going to, the cabinet is going to go right there. I moved the file cabinets in the back room today. At the same time, I took a water sample. It was a beautiful day to take a water sample. <laughs> yeah, that didn't freeze up anything. Uh, we need to take, make a decision a little later on what we want to do with that third shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, do we want to take some of the cap, some of the shelving off on the up in the south wall, or uh, yeah, not get rid of it? So we look, I open the door. We'll talk about that after. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's all I got on the voting machine. Uh, uh, he's supposed to get it made this month, he said. Mm -hmm. So we'll... yeah, he came. He stopped and got a couple pieces of lumber the other day. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So he's Very working good. on it. Hey, Galvin, website update. I like uh, Larry give you a little story about Iraq space got hacked. We've heard that last month. Yep. And uh, Steve Sullivan was on vacation, and they got Iraq space, and he saw this message: "Your password is expired. Please update." He so did it. He, he did it. Oh no! no. So, so now, bye, 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 Chuck. So bye. Now his emails are coming through UPS. You get an email from it that says UPS, oh, and then it's the oh, body, of course. But that's who the it's ID'd as UPS, oh. and uh, so they got to get that fixed. They have had. Um, the uh, Microsoft has a strike team on site. They patched all of their um, servers. They've been at this thing for I don't know how many weeks, month, two months, three months, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a real problem. Because my email even comes up with supervisor two update your. It does. And yes. I'm, I'm looking at it, it's like, well, I'm supervisor one, so why would I be getting that? So I didn't even open them. So well, no I'm notices. sending out, I've sent out notices to all of you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't take the bait. Right. Mm -hmm. I just delete them. Whenever they come, I just delete yeah, them. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I cannot get it to stop because they're going to just keep going. Uh, but they, they, we don't have a sanitizing service mm -hmm. at this point. 
I don't know if that's something we want to go for or not. I'm in conversation with Rackspace about this thing. And because I've been looking at a number of different things. After our discussion last month, I was looking at, okay, what would we have to do to get uh, up to speed mm -hmm. for equipment? Uh, I'm also talking to uh, to not only Rackspace about that email issue, but I'm also talking about HeyGov and Town Web Design to try and get the the those two things. I I worked hard to get the services integrated on our website, so the website is working well. There's a few things that we need to fix. Uh, the dog license thing was a challenge this past month, where the money was put in, but we didn't know about it. And so therefore, once we found out about it, it wasn't available to us because we only have 72 hours in which to uh, to take the money into our account. I worked with HeyGov and uh, Dino, you were involved with that on that. Uh, we managed to get a second payment from Doug Reinhardt. He did pay it the second time around. And that was an email that was initiated by uh, pay go. Mm -hmm. I, I asked them to complete to change that, and now the HeyGov site is current and updated. But he ended up pay, spending extra money. Yeah, I ended up paying two two fees, two credit card fees, fees. Oh, because we didn't handle it. That's why we got that sixty one cents. Oh, I because see. they didn't take both fees, but he ended up paying both fees. Right, he paid both. So it, it was a confusion in the way we handled it. And that was the reason, again, why I was saying, you know, Dina had had, she does this work on her own uh, laptop, personal laptop or on the, uh, uh, the farm laptop. And the net result is when they had their services done there, mm -hmm. there something was changed, you didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I, I I am working through that and trying to coordinate both of those things. Now, here's the other piece of that is we paid for three years on each of those services, HeyGov and Town Web Design. Mm -hmm. Now, we pay the annual fee to Town Web Design annually. We paid the whole thing right. to HeyGov. We're a year and a half or more into that one. Right. This one gets paid annually. I'm trying to get those two organizations to give me a single renewal. Mm -hmm. We've merged the two services into our website, and I want to merge the billing. And that's a, a, a bit of a challenge mm -hmm. today. We're working on it. And as long as we get it done by 2024. Right. Yeah. And I'm working on that. Uh, I did go through um, Ruth's machine, yeah. uh, and I got uh, a complete summary of what the machine's capabilities are and everything else. In fact, Ruth's machine is pretty current. Yes, they're only four years old. Yeah. And we've had it updated. Mm -hmm. There, there, if there is an issue with it, it just does not qualify for an upgrade to Windows 11. It's it's just not, it doesn't meet the performance standards. Mm -hmm. However, she has a good monitor, she's got a good printer, she's got uh other things back up uh, through. Um, Do you have a tower? Yes. Oh, she has a tower. Okay. I put a camera on there for her. Right. She also has the microphone and headset. Right. So it's capable and it does a good yeah, job. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it, it's running current. We are, it's Ed Durst, uh, mm -hmm. Easy Computer, is, has a, basically a maintenance contract with mm -hmm. us satisfies the needs uh, from the elections commission as well as the department of but he can just remote right in to yes he does see, so that's good so i don't think at this point in time that's an issue mm -hmm. the issue is when dina has not got access or doesn't know about it she's sometimes not always available mm -hmm. but if she has her laptop she can travel with that right and then that would give her the ability because you're both into quickbooks mm -hmm. you're all into the same pot right so that's the path that i'm going down in that i did get um a workstation originally i went out and i got it both for two laptops then i talked to the people at quantum 
And I said, well, it's a Lenovo laptop. It's a 15 and a half inch screen like mm -hmm. this. Uh, with uh, It had only eight gig of RAM. All, this is 16 gig, uh, roots is 16 gig. Uh, and we got to get a pro key uh, on, on this thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they came up with a uh, full for me. Fifteen hundred three dollars and thirty three cents. It's cheap, and, and it's reasonable. You don't have need for a monitor because at home and also at the office on the farm, she has a docking station right. she can plug in. She's got her docking station, so it wouldn't work. Ruth, uh, she wouldn't need a monitor, right? And Ruth doesn't uh, is does all her work upstairs in the office there. And everything is there. She sees no need for a, a laptop. And I have to agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. factor. So at this point in time, um, I'm, I'm recommending that maybe we go with this second uh, quote, if you want to see what it is. Do you think that has enough memory? This does. Yeah. yeah. OK. And I'm, you have the cloud, so I guess we can always look well, at it from that standpoint. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm we're going to have uh, an issue when it comes to the um, you're going with eight. That's what you're looking at. Sixteen. And, and additionally, there's a there's a add-on yep. down here. Yep, I see that. So that would bring that to sixteen. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what this is, and that's what Ruth's is. Uh, if you want to know, Ruth's is, here's Ruth is. Uh, she's running right now. She's running uh, sixteen. This is what Ruth's machine right. is right off her off her system. So this is what she has, and. And uh, it, it's it's oh, yeah, certainly yeah. adequate. Definitely. So um, this, I, I know we didn't have it on the agenda to approve, but I think this is the proper route to go for the hardware side of the coin uh, to take care of making sure that we don't uh, get in trouble with missing payments. Do we need that on the agenda to make this? Yeah, the expenditure over $500. Yeah, it's over $500. Okay. We need so we to put that on for, for, next, for month. next month. Now, this quote was only good until the 27th, so it might get revised again when I need to talk to them. Uh, but they will, if this includes the upgrade to the pro license, and I don't know if that's a necessity uh, with root system, only by virtue of the fact that uh, she's, she's already got everything she needs. It works good for your license commission, for all your reports, the Department of Revenue, and everybody else. So, this is a great pricing, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's great price. Well, I'll, I'll ask them if they can, yeah. you know, yeah, they can. extend the, uh, the deadline on that particular report. Mm -hmm. And then next month, I would uh, think that we'll be in a position to hopefully have. Some resolution on the differences with the uh, Hey Doug and the um, kind of what design. I tell Quantum we're going to go a different direction. Maybe they'll lower the price. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Moving <laughs> forward. Moving forward. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome. Roads and road, road work. Uh, Katie, brush cutting in town right away. Right now, the county is in a position. To do brush cutting, we didn't have a lot of stone, so we can do brush cutting. Well, well, and Thursday, yeah, Thursday might change that. <laughs> but we, uh, but we have a, we got Stone Road south of the beach is in a bad situation, and I tried to get a hold of John Dubois. Uh, he didn't answer his phone. Road, so yeah. Stone Road south of H, and the, the road. Oh, the dead oh. road. Yeah. Yes, the dead end. Yeah. Yes, that's the bad one. Yes, it is. And then, and then also the other place we got is Mill Road, south of H, that little one section. We could do some brush cutting there. Yep. Uh, Krieger is now, now taking care of the big trees. He's doing some of it. I don't think he's completed yet. But I've seen him on, on um, Maplewood Road. Yeah, yeah he's making, he got those two big ones yeah. on Maplewood Road, and now he's also on was it Vigdus Road uh, mm -hmm. or uh, West East Carnet. Yeah, we've got some good ones. Yeah, yeah, so he was on there, so he's not completed. But if uh, if you want to make a motion that we hire get the county to do some brush cutting on Stone Road, South of H and Mill Road, it's going to be time and material. We can't give you a price on that. Uh, I'll get a hold of our supervisor and take a tour down there and 
tell them what we would like. So it's down, down road and uh, Stone Road and Mill Road. Yeah, I, I make a motion that we contract the county to take care of that. They have the tools, they got the ability. So. And the equipment and the people. Yeah, yeah, so I would say go. Okay. Yeah, I second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say by saying aye. 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 Motion to put it out there a little brandy. And we're not going to go back to the complete right away on the roads. No. It's just the ones that are you know, where the brush is overhanging or starting to affect you. Yeah. 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 That's right. Okay. Where do we start? We can start on the 19th. No, the 21st. I think it's 21st, Century Lane. 22nd. Yeah. 22nd. 22nd. Okay. Hey, Mama Bill, do you like the subject? This little set payment. What companies are doing now, and it's driving us crazy, is that Century Tell. I paid the bill on February, uh, November 3rd for Century Tell. And then I never got another bill. Oh, it's we, we checked, I got emails just saying how much you owe, but we changed that and somebody changed it here to get you an electronic billing on November 27th. Hmm. I said, no, I never changed that. Okay, well, we'll forego the interest charge. And now you just sent us a check for $166.66. You mean for your telephone at all? Yeah, well, it was for two months. $67.05? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that So we tried paying ours online because I've always paid it on Quick, quick Pay or whatever it is, yeah. CenturyLink. Just always went online and paid it. We tried doing that. And for some reason, the payment did not go through. So now we were going to try to set up an account and it wouldn't let us set up an account. So, oh, yeah. so she, I, more a lady that works with me was going to try to call them and see how we pay our bill because and got the same thing. Yeah. Well, well, and our our neighbor did. It was a different company, but they did the same thing to to her. Put it online. Yeah. And you, uh, no, we never did it, but that's what their companies are doing that right now. They're just automatically going there if you aren't there. You know. Yep. 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 Yeah, and I have a, and they'll I, penalize you. Yeah, I have a credit card that does that, and I even go online to see if I it says it. It does not say that it's paperless, <laughs> but it comes paperless. It doesn't show up in the mail. So, caution. What are the words of the wires? Okay. Uh, Tina mentioned that we got eighteen hundred dollars, eighteen thousand dollars from the state for our grant. Yep. And if that culvert on there in the future, please follow closely with that culvert. Uh, I had to keep on calling them. Where where is that bill for that culvert that I ordered back in August? Mm -hmm. And that's not there. It was. It's it not. It, that's the last one. That one. Oh, I see. That one on the page. And the, it, it, we we paid for it. But they were not, well, we got to wait from the Green Bay to send that to us. So you have to follow that very closely when you order stuff. Hmm. Uh, and then, so you want to meet, so they have $15 for paying for mm -hmm. basic for service for you know, sending them a bill or whatever. Interest or, or payment. I, I don't know what I, I, because. I did an invoice for do it. when he, when you come to put the payment in, it pays. I don't have any place to put it. I don't have any place to put it. Okay. Okay. So I thought I made a two. So then I paid whatever it was, and I left that fifteen dollars sit out there. So I thought, well, I'll just make another entry for the fifteen dollars, saying they paid it right, right three times or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know where it went. I could not find it. I could not <laughs> find the fifteen dollars. Journal entry, or? is it a journal? No, but it entry? should still show up in our yeah, yeah. books. Yes, it should. So I don't know where it went. Because when I look back, it still says it's the full amount. It's still the full amount. Hmm. So I didn't, and I didn't have enough time. I was 
working at that yeah. before I came here. Well, I'm trying to work <laughs> at least if I know about it, you know, for, for my annual report. But I will I can, go back I can make and make the adjustments on my annual report. Yeah, it would have to I'll let you know, but I'll try, I'll, I want to mm -hmm. figure out how, how oh, we do it yeah, because it's yeah. gonna not it's gonna happen more than once. Mm -hmm. right. right. So I'll I'll figure mm -hmm. out how to do it, but it just I didn't have enough time to figure that out. Curious uh, on that culvert, the big culvert for two thousand dollars. Yep. Did he pay it by uh, credit card or? No, he paid it in cash in, or in check, check. Sorry, check, okay. sent a check in the mail. He didn't use them all for the rest. No, they didn't want to pay the extra money. I guess. Okay. Oh, you mean yeah. that one? He pay it online. He, didn't he ask about that? He did. Yeah. 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 Well, that's why, did. That's why I didn't ever see it. Been fifteen dollars that night. Yeah. Yeah. Real expensive. Or more. Yeah. Sure. So they decided to send a check. <laughs> okay. That's what I think we're going to see quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you'll see. I mean, a dog license is little or nothing. I mean, yeah. that's, yeah, that's I think that'll be, see it. Yeah, yeah, I think you're going to see it in the dog license. Now, just out of curiosity, no, no, I see it. Okay, I got it. Mind. I see what I do. And that's the only thing that I want to point out. I make a motion to accept the treasure report. Pay the bills. Okay, pay bills, rather. I second that. Your motion pays to pay bills. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, motion is carried. Yeah, it's right here and it's got the phone. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, the so next thing we got going to us here. I don't know if it really is. is. That okay, if it did go in, I don't, I, I just gotta decide decide to find where if it actually made it there or not. Um, going through the mark on February 11th. Yeah, that's well, it's Saturday. That's the old day thing down here in the pier. Yeah, yep, the mark. I Ruth, I'm going. Starts at. Is this the same that we usually went down to Manitowoc for? Yes, yes. Thank thank you. You. Manitowoc. This is the old. This is okay. the district meeting. Yep. Stuff. Yep. There really isn't much for the clerk on there, is there? No, no, no. no. There's not the clerk is not no. that heavy this year. When are they going to have board of review training? Training. Yeah, that's the one person has to take it. Very likely you'll have to take it online. Very That's likely. what I was wondering. Yeah. yeah, we'll ask that question. But it starts at 7.30 registration, call to order at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 8.30 is when uh, mm -hmm. Michael it takes about an hour to get there. Yeah. I may be. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Okay, you're, you're going to go by yourself? Or... I think I will because I, probably, I may not be. Here. Okay. For that day. Okay. So right. you're going to send that in? Here? Sure. So okay. Roy and, and Larry. Yeah. Okay. Or right. anybody else besides Roy going? Well, could I ride with you? Sure. All right. I'll, I'll okay. ride with Roy. Roy and, All right. And so Tom, we're gonna, they're going to hit the uh, commissioner district meeting. They're going to hit the board of commissioners, public lands and lending options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, What's the data doing? You're going to hit a couple of good things here. Well, it's the, the big one I, I is uh, you're talking about the legislative panel. That's what right. I. Right. There's two of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The state legislative panel, and then the uh, their that's their agenda for uh, where they're going to be going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to post that roof if you would, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For February 11th. Mm -hmm. And I'll send the registration in. And you said there's a district, uh, Black County unit meeting on the 23rd of February. Yeah, I know. At Playbank. The 23rd of February. That's on Thursday. Thursday. It's the fourth Thursday. Mm -hmm. And that'll be at six? At six. That one at six. Meeting starts at 6 30. They should be sending that out pretty soon. Too. Then they're going to send it out the first mm -hmm. card of the first of February. No, yeah, well, that's the card that comes in the mail, right? Yes, you'll yeah. get a card in the mail. Yes, yeah. also a letter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from from a standpoint of broadband information, I think that's going to be a good one. Mike was very. He didn't want to over. Do broadband mm -hmm. like, since it's the thing for us in the southern part. Well, I ran into some people in this whole thing and older people that don't have internet and they're they're a little concerned about having it fund their taxes. 
when they don't even have the internet. So they're a little bit concerned about that. I, I, so I didn't have an answer for them yet because it's, it's still, you know, in the process. Well, the uh, what Steve Sullivan said, they're 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 going to borrow the money and then they're going to go out for grants mm -hmm. in Massawapi. And they figure right now it's going to be ten dollars per thousand mm -hmm. for twenty years, and that'll be assessed value on your taxes. That's what they're talking. Now that's about. going to be over the uh, mm -hmm. Massawapi Town. No, the, I mean the uh, Clay Banks Town Hall. Yes, Clay Banks Town Hall. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, wonder, oh, 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 oh. I wonder if they looked into interest rates if they'd get a decent. Well, that's uh, one of the reasons why I want to hear some of these. Give you a little so people that. There's a major, one of the big buildings in downtown in Sturgeon Bay, they got a construction loan while they were constructing the building, and now they're refinancing it. And when they were constructing the building, the interest rates were at three and four percent. Now they're talking six, seven percent. Mm -hmm. um, so, but they are not really not eligible to do for those uh, the state money. I don't know. Uh, we were, oh, uh, it was just the, just the example of one. Oh, one just, uh, uh, commercial yeah. construction. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No. So, I don't know what you found out. You know, in your operation, but that's it. Um, we knew they were going, so we read. We did a lot of ours. We okay. locked a lot of ours in. Okay. 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 So they got that. February 11th date, mm -hmm. February 23rd is a date. Mm -hmm. And Jason, you will ride with me. To yes. That, that. And Ruth, you're still not decided yet? Or... I, I won't go. You won't go. No. Okay. No. No. There's, it's it's okay. more for town board, I think. Items to be discussed in the future meetings. One will be the computer purchase. Okay. And the other way we're going to be discussing will be uh, garbage. Uh, back in the in September of 2020, they delivered garbage cans to all our citizens. Mm -hmm. And one place, they were on the list, but they, they didn't find a house there. So they didn't leave the garbage cans out. So all this time, Boeing had been charging us. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. the customer finally called last week and said, where are my garbage cans? Well, they never got them delivered. And when we looked up that address, mm -hmm. they did a perk test. Back in 2002. Is that over on J? Oh, and J. Okay. And so Ooh. I have made a, uh, Ruth, you got the copy of that letter, my email. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I have made a request from going to credit us back $446.43 so that we can pass that back to the customer. See, but, but I, I got a call from, he didn't leave his name, but I know where he lives. He's on the corner of Carnet and Carnet. Uh, an old schoolhouse. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he called to complain about the fact that he doesn't live here. He's never here. And when he does come up, it's on like a weekend out of the summer or whatever. He called me. Okay. So he back a, when you're aware of all that. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a livable dwelling and he's yeah. got a septic system. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> but this is a case yeah. that this gentleman was living in the barn. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and and, uh, and I I can't visualize how you've been living in the garden. But anyway, uh, we'll I made a request for reimbursement. And okay. We we'll either and he hasn't replied. This was as of last Friday, and I thought I'd have a message Monday, and I right, didn't get yeah. this morning. I suppose they were off for the weekend. Yeah. So we, so we could talk about that next week, next month. Okay. Anything else you can think of? Please contact us for that. Next board town board meeting will be Monday, February twentieth, okay. President's, President's Day. Day. And uh, so, a motion to adjourn would be in order for no further business to be conducted at this time. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Motion made to adjourn. Second to adjourn. All those in favor, will be signify by saying aye. Aye. We are adjourned. It's also elections the next day for primary. Mm -hmm. The 21st. Mm -hmm. 21st. Mm -hmm.